Sergeant Martin of the United States Marine Corps. Sergeant Martin, thank you so much for joining us again tonight. Now let's talk about what it takes to be a Marine. Physically, mentally, I know it takes a lot. Okay, yes it does take a lot. First of all, thank you all for having me. The thing to become a Marine mentally is you have to qualify with the Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery Exam. That test right there will tell you more than one thing. It'll tell you what you're good at. It'll also will tell you your qualification for the Marine Corps, what job you qualify for, and your mental aptitude. Not only that, physically, you must qualify with a medical exam. What I'll do is on a case-by-case -case basis, we'll sit down and we'll talk and discuss your medical history, and from there you'll go to the military entrance processing station, where there you'll be examined by our doctors. And that right there will allow you to qualify mentally and physically. But some of the disqualifying factors can be tattoos, right? Some of the biggest trends we have today and some of the biggest nicks we have are the tattoos in the community. Young kids, please stop it, all right? Don't get tattoos. It makes no sense, okay? That's some disqualifying factors. That's a big one nowadays. Now let's talk about the Marine Corps' goals, goals in the community. Okay, well, some of the Marine Corps goals in the community is one, we train, we're first we're looking for good citizens to become Marines, but in order to do that, we have to make sure we set the example for them to follow. Not only that, when we transition you back into the civilian world, we want to make sure that we transition positive young men and women back to the civilian world. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have the Marine Corps out here. Let's send it over to you.